welcome back. In this video, we're going to be importing the SOLIDWORKS assembly into SigmaNest. The first thing we need to do is open SigmaNest. Go to the import icon and click on the drop down and select SOLIDWORKS. Locate your assembly or parts and turn on interactive mapping, then click OK. The SOLIDCAD desktop will come up. Depending on which 3D CAD system you use will determine what options are available to you. Since we're using SOLIDWORKS, we'll get all the SOLIDWORKS options. The Use Configurations options allow you to load specific configurations of the assembly or parts. For example, if you need to have bevels as a secondary operation, you can configure your SOLIDWORKS assembly to suppress the bevels inside a configuration. Parent Configuration uses the parent configuration name from SOLIDWORKS as the part name for the imported part. Select the Forming Feature option if you have parts that have louvers, embosses, and things of that nature. This will allow SigmaNest to properly process these types of parts. If you have holes that need to be drilled, enable that function here. Please be aware. Any holes created in SOLIDWORKS intended for drilling should have been created with the hole wizard function inside SOLIDWORKS. If not, SigmaNest will not recognize those holes for drilling. If you do have holes in your part that were not created using the hole wizard, SigmaNest will detect those holes as regular interior contours. There's also some flexibility with the coordinate system. If you have a custom coordinate view set up, with a specific name inside SOLIDWORKS, enter that name here. Or you can use a predefined top view or global view. You can also use tags that you set up in SOLIDWORKS inside SigmaNest. And you have the freedom to map them however you wish. Once you set this all up, save it as a desktop for next time. And that's all there is to it.